In this video, we will discuss lead to lease in MyHub. To access MyHub through any browser, computer, tablet, smartphone, go to myhub.sitelink.com. Once there, you can either log into the Web Edition side on the left hand portion or the Corporate Control Center side on the right hand portion. In terms of lead to lease, the difference is on the left hand side, we'd be focusing on one specific location. If on the Corporate Control Center side, we can view multiple locations from one area. We log in and then click or touch the lead to lease section. If we were putting in a new lead or reservation, click on add tenant on the right hand side, put in their information, name, possibly a phone number or an email, a way to contact the person, and submit. We could put in marketing information. Next, we would choose from one of the respective sites. In this particular database, I'm going to choose site one. Then this is a list of all of our unit types. If I clicked on a particular type, I could then choose a unit that I want to specify. Once I have my type chosen, I could choose a discount plan, potentially. We come down and we choose whether or not we're, it is a lead, someone that may or may not potentially move in, or a reservation. They want to move in when the unit becomes available, or at a certain future time. We can choose how it was originated. Maybe they called us. When do we need it? They need this unit by March 1st. We could set up a follow-up reminder time, a quoted rate which will follow through to the move-in. When the reservation expires, on the right-hand side, we can view our competitor rates that are filtered from the competitor tracking module in the SiteLink program. We can put in an appointment. That's when we need to call them. You could enter credit card information, process a reservation fee, add notes, and contact the store with an email. This screen can also be used to take payments for someone. If you had your phones roll over to a central location, someone called in, I could easily put in their name. Let's say their last name is Smith. I type in Smith and click on the magnifying glass. It will find all the Smiths in your database. Eric Smith is a tenant. They're with location three. I could click payments. And now I'm in the payment section directly from the lead to lease from one central location to take that payment. There's a drop down that I could search for any specific category or use the default all inclusive search. There is a follow up and reminders section that will let you see any of the reminders that you've created for your reservations for your leads. In this example we have someone that needs a unit on March 1st Click on filters and reminders to view leads, reservations, who's active, who's canceled or expired. It would show your follow-ups, reservations to move in and reservations without available unit. Once finished with this screen, you can click on your name and log out. 